Today, Undercurrents came to visit the exhibition to Tancamon, his tomb and his treasures. More than 6 million visitors have seen this exhibition so far and now it's here in Perth. Let's explore a little bit of this unknown world full of magic and mystery. Tell me about the logistics of this exhibition. The exhibition is owned by a, a German company who worked with the Egyptian government and with the ex-minister for antiquities, uh, uh, Dr Zahi Awas. Uh, the expedition has been running for about nine years now. So it was first put together nine years ago uh, and it travels the world. It's, come, come, it's in Perth now, it's the only place in Australia that it will come. Uh, it's an exhibition that arrived in some 11 40-foot shipping containers took us um, about two and a half to three weeks to prepare, to, to set up, uh, and we'll now run for four months and then take another week to get out. And the, and the people that set it up, we had a team of nearly 20 um, artisans basically who came here to set it up and worked on it and then left. And we'll be back to pull it out. Yeah. Peter, can you tell me a little bit more about Tutankham and why he got so much attention? I can. Well, Tutankhamun was born about three and a half thousand years ago. He was an Egyptian pharaoh and he was the last of his line, of the lineage that he was in. The reason he gets so much attention is really just a quirk of fate. Uh, Tutankhamun's tomb is the only one that's been discovered that hasn't been ransacked. So it's the only complete tomb in terms of the, the, um, the material that was left in there with him. Uh, and that's why he's attracted so much attention. As a pharaoh, he was a fairly insignificant pharaoh. He, he was, uh, he was the, called the boy king. He, he ascended to the throne at a very young age and he was dead by 18. So he actually didn't achieve a great deal in life, but in death, he's told us a lot. The, the exhibition is very complete and very comprehensive. There's, there's thousands of objects here. The thing that is most interesting about this exhibition is in the first instance, they present uh, recreations of the tombs with all of the uh, all of the artifacts that were left in Tutankhamun's tomb. So they're all there. But then what we do is we go and uh, repeat it. So everything that is in the tomb is then represented elsewhere in the exhibition. Exhibition and it's it's unpicked, if you like. The it, all the pieces are laid out, and explanations and descriptions of each piece uh, is there. So it's and they're they're faithfully re recreated. Um, you know, even to the extent they're all made in Egypt, they're, you know, they're, they're manufactured in similar methods that they were originally. Um, and, and this is the this is the real utility of this exhibition: is it tells the story in a way that you, the story can't be told in any other way. The pieces that were in the tomb are now spread all around the world. There's no place you can go to see everything that was in Tutankhamun's tomb. So this this is an opportunity to see that. Um, and you know, the reaction with it has been great. I saw that you have an audio guide. Can you explain how it sure, works? Sure. The exhibition, one of the things that strikes you is that it's silent. There's no noise going on. Um, we have a series of cinemas here and we have a number of other projectors around and the audio track that's associated with those various videos synchronises to these audio guides. So as people walk around and they, they can listen to um, all of the pre-recorded material and a number of the exhibits have also got um, audio tracks associated with them so you can listen uh, and have the story explained to you as you go. We have two versions of the audio guide, um, an adult and a children's version. By children we mean sort of under 12. The differentiator is that the, the language that is used is a bit you know, easier for children to understand uh, and it's, it's, it's generally presented in a sort of a gentler way if you like. It's not that there's an adult version, <laughs> it's not that at all, it's just that you know, it's, it's designed for children. We've just had a school group through here this morning um, and we will, we've got uh, school groups booked right between now and Christmas, everything from primary school through to the lower levels of high school. Um, probably the upper highs are not because they're in the midst of their exams now, so that's a bit hard for them. But yes, it's suitable for everyone. And we're having a real mixed group of people coming here. But, you know, I guess to point out, it's not, it's not for the hard... Well, it doesn't preclude the hardcore uh, Egyptologists, but the, where it really has most value is it takes people who know a bit about the story and, and provides the whole story. And that's really what makes it special. Maura Magalhães for Undercurrent.